Hey, what's up guys? Uh, it's Volvo 51 we're back with another part to Let's Play Fallout 3. And, uh, I don't know, I, it's, it's kind of on the road to Fallout 4. But when I started this, it was in honor of don't you have a component um, Fallout 4's trailer release. Um, in this part... We are hopefully, hopefully going to be able to finish, um, The Replicated Man. Uh, as bad as I hate to admit it, I looked up, uh, a kind of a guide as to where to go. Or where to find the holotypes. So, I'm going to head there now. As you saw in the last, or the last episode, um, I got one. I believe I got. I believe I got the one in here. Hey. Yeah, I got the one in here. It's in the bottom of that pulpit, I believe you call Tamper it. With that, and we're going to have. Well, move your ass, and we won't have a problem. Oh wait a minute! What the hell am I doing? Shroom, gone. Get... That won't be like. Oh fuck! Where'd he go? Ghost! Ghost! Now she's really ah, ah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. That's something I would like to kind of see in Fallout 4. Like if you're invisible and you start doing stuff, like people just start. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't know what this is, but we'll pick it up anyways because it might come in use later. But let's just now it really look like a ghost. Oh, she gone. She ran away, I guess. Okay, now we're t uh now. What's that say? Um, find out what Pinkerton at River City knows about the android. Okay. Well, Pinkerton is in the river... River. <laughs> river. Rivet City Bow. So, in order to get to him, we're going to have to go outside. We're going to have to get off this tub of rust. As soon as we find the stairway, we'll be getting off this tub of, ru this tub of rust. Is that the stairway? Oh, there's the marketplace. There's the stairwell. We're on our way off this tub of rust. Yeah. Marketplace, this should be going outdoors. Or outside. Oh, man, guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot to talk about this at the beginning of the video. Um, I wanted to quickly apologize for there being no video Monday. And the reason there was no no video Monday is because is I came or we we came home Sunday evening Sunday or like Sunday afternoon we got home about three ish also that I've actually jumped off of there and like the game glitched out and I just sunk like a like an anvil and hit the hit the ground and just gone I won't cheat I'm going to cheat. Um, anyways, that's what I was saying. We got home. Wow, where did all those rads come from? Oh my god. Um, got home about 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock, uh, Sunday evening. And then after that, I just kind of lazed around because I was tired from the car ride. Because I just, I don't enjoy car rides anymore. I really don't. I used to enjoy them when I was a little kid. But nowadays, it's just kind of like a hassle. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, God dang it! I'm doing. Cyber girl, it's glitching out. Only not really. I'm just hitting the wrong buttons. Uh, where's right away? Wow, we really don't have much right away. That that'll that'll be fine for now. Up at hundred lock picking yet? Um, where? Oh no, lock pick ninety eight. Um. Mentats. Ment yes. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Anyways, so I got home. I was just kind of lazed around, and then I ordered my books that night for um for my fall semester. So that's that actually took quite a while because I like to um. 
Like if I had bought them all from like the the school website, brand new. It, ooh, that was actually halfway easy for a very hard lock. Anyways, if I had bought them all from the New River Bookstore, which is the the college I go to, it's called or it's called New River Community Technical College, because uh, I, made, I made a few mistakes, and we'll I'll get into that later. And what am I? And one of my um, later like subscriber specials, where I tell a little bit more about myself. But anyways, I was, I was if I had ordered them all from there new, it would have cost about um, seven hundred and ninety dollars. But I found some pretty good deals online and got my books for about two hundred nine. Wait, oh shit! How did I land all the way down here? You gotta find a you gotta find a soft spot. Dogmate's not really getting his ass kicked like I thought he was, but there we go. But yeah, I got them all for about 209, and so I'm not saying I will because uh, I do have to save money for the next semester, and where it's it's not like it's loans, so I do have to pay them back. So I may be able to get, um, I may be able to upgrade an equipment here or there after um, my new loan comes through, because I bought that with um, previous loan money that I, I may be able to upgrade, but I'm not going to promise anything because I don't really like to spend money because <laughs> I'm a, I'm a I'm greedy. Not really. Not really greedy. I just like to be protective of my money. And I'm not sure where I'm going. Okay, we need to go back up these stairs. And Pinkton should be right in here, I believe. Oh, God! I'll take those shotguns. Oh, why'd I turn the light off? Purified water. Really, there's just a frag mine sitting there. Okay, let's... Um, gotta... My... Game feels a little sluggish today. Pinkerton should be around here. Like, he should be fairly close. Maybe through this door. Whenever you come through here, don't hit. If you play this game, don't ever hit a terminal with one of those things on it. Because he short circuits and blows up on you. Now, this door, there should be. Right there. And voila, we're in Pinkerton's lab. Take a bottle cap mine because he, because for some reason you can just steal a bottle cap mine no matter where it's at, like, and it will not even do anything to you. Ooh, a fresh potato. At this point, I'm just kind of exploring because I never really explored his little um, place here, his humble abode, as some might call it. Blood pack, guys, yeah, some random, random stuff. Oh yeah, he does have a book here. Big book of science. Oh, that's a lot of all caps. There's pretty much everything you need to make a shish kebab if you have the schematic. Well, say hello to me. You do not know I'm here. Take that stealth boy. I'm a bad boy this episode. Okay, time to talk to Pinkerton. How the hell did you get in here? <laughs> hmm. I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. 
This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. Um... Let's discuss the facial reconstruction and mind wipe you did for the android. What are you talking about, boy? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? He's playing dumb. Okay, um... Let's just say it's in your best interest to tell me what I want to know. Fine, whatever. This android calls himself Harkness now. Comes in and wants a memory job. I took new memories and replaced his old ones. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing. So I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. Snooty bitch. That's funny. Uh, yeah, she's a bitch. Can we talk about this now? That day, yeah. That's, that's, um... Yeah, she's a bitch. Can we talk about the android now? You're damn right she's a bitch. Ruined my whole goddamn life. But I can see you don't give a crap about any of that. Fine. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit inhospitable. Mm. Harkness should be told. You'd want to know if you were an android, wouldn't you? Well, it doesn't say wouldn't you. I apologize for that one. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm going to have my android army rise up against you and your human ilk. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry I couldn't resist. I suppose you're right. But don't worry, I didn't really wipe his memories. I just buried them. But you can get them back. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate a321 recall code violet and that will activate the hidden subroutines I have to go now don't let your guard down okay oh, oh what in the oh bloody hell oh Jimmy jumbo mumbo jumbo okay let's get in here let's see what we got here The four picture. That is one ugly motherfucker. And the four picture. Still pretty ugly. He doesn't look all this all that different. I mean if you literally look, his eyebrows and eyes are basically the same, like all that's different is his hair. Um I'll you I'll open these so you can read them if you want to. Hey, Braun. That's funny. They're mentioning Braun. You'll find out who Braun is here in a little bit. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. Time to go back to Harkness and let's see if we can finish this. Also, I'm going to try to be... Try to... Start making the episodes a little bit shorter, and try to keep them under 20 minutes if I can. Um, just because they're they're a little bit easier to upload them, they upload a little bit faster, which is helpful for me and for you, because then they don't take as long for me to upload, and take my internet up for that much or for that much longer. And also, I believe, I think that you all seem to. Um, watch more of the shorter videos than you do of the longer ones. And that could just be a time thing. So my, my comment question of the day, which, if you make it this far in the video, then holy god, what is, what is wrong with you? I'm just kidding. If you make it this far, I love you. The comment question of the day is, what are you doing 
or where do you watch my videos? Like, are you taking a shit? Are you eating? Are you watching it till I can put you to bed at night because yes. I'm boring? Uh, you know, do you what? Do you watch it as soon as you wake up in the morning so I can put you back to sleep? No, you won't. Coca Cola, and I'm overweight now. Dang it. File it. He My came. God. I, <laughs> Jesus. I remember. I remember it all from before. Zimmer, the Commonwealth, the Institute. My God, all those runners I brought down. You. You made me remember. Why? How? I. Never mind. I just. My God. What am I going to do? My life. Everything. It's all a lie. What are you going to do about Zimmer? He's the one you were running away from. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shove him into a very small box and send him north where he belongs. Actually, I was hoping you'd let me kill him. Hmm. He is a security threat, isn't he? All right. I authorize you to carry out Dr. Zimmer's execution. Don't think this gives you license to run around shooting anyone you want. Just Zimmer. And that bodyguard he gets in the way. Here, use my weapon. I've had it forever, and it's never let me down. Consider it a token of my appreciation. Thanks for the help. Carry on, then. Okay, so there's the... There's the one ending. You can actually get both ending, and I hope I did it right, to where I can get both. Um, so that's that's the good karma ending, and you'll and you can kill Zimmer here. We're gonna see if we can do the eat the evil karma ending, also which like bounces out and makes this a neutral quest. What else do you the sooner you find my property, the sooner I can get out of this slum. Really, how do you people live like this? I found your android. It's Harkness, Rivet City Security Chief. Harkness, you say? Yes. Yes, that makes sense. He used to work for a special branch of the Commonwealth Police, after all. And he's right here, in ah. Rivet City? Excellent. I must wait. Find an opportune moment to confront him. Thank you for your discreet assistance and continued discretion regarding this matter. And now for your payment. This combat module will directly affect your central nervous system. I think you will find it quite beneficial. Wired reflexes break. There we go. There's the evil karma portion and this. Uh, advanced technology from the Commonwealth has increased your reaction speed, giving you a higher chance to hit in vats. That's actually pretty good. Now time to execute him. And time to execute him. Doosh! Oh, no. Oh, vaporized his ass. That's what you get for being slavers, you dirty scumbags. Take that Chinese pistol. I won't. Take the iguana stick. Take the bottle cap. Ooh, Zimmer's key. Zimmer's key is completely worthless, but. Take the laser pistol. Eh, noodles. I don't need two Zimmer's keys, but there we go. And that, folks, is the end. Okay, let's let's get under. Let's get under here. Come on, come on. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see. Can we do anything? Um, come on. Ah, screw it. And we're under. Now we're underway. And that, folks, is the end of the Replicated Man quest. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, then please check out part one again if you haven't already. Also, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed 
then please leave a like and a subscribe also so you can be stay tuned in for future videos as always I'm Vault Boy and you guys have a great day